Hey guys, we're back with another video. This is Trip to Thrift 137, I think. A uh, bit of an old, long awaited one. This is all chat shop stuff that I've probably collected over the last probably year and a half. A lot of this stuff has the tags on it um, and it will have the dates on the tags. So I'll tell you how long I've had, I've been sitting on this stuff uh, just because I haven't really gone out charity shopping. I've just popped into one if I've seen one here and there uh, and slowly built up a bag of items. So yeah, we'll get into it. But before we do that, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and Depop down at the bottom of the screen, Ryan's Finds, I Chind S, F Find S. And also for the wholesale Instagram, Messine Henry Wholesale, down at the bottom of the screen. I'll also put the email in the description. So you can email us if you don't want to use Instagram, uh, if you're interested in buying bulk, secondhand clothing, vintage. And yeah, we'll get into it. There should be a few clips of me. I've got to find them all through my camera roll of me finding all this stuff. And then we'll come back here and go through everything that I found. So yeah, enjoy the clips and I'll see you back here in a few minutes.
Right, we're back. We're going to start with the accessories. The first one is this Quicksilver beanie. I think it's an old, early 2000s one. It's got a date on it, 15th of the 10th. That is not October last year. That's October the year before. That's how long I've had this. I'll show you the tags there. I think that's 2000s. Uh, but that was £4. Should hopefully get like 15 on that, I think, on Depop. Then we got a really cool pair of early 2000s Nike sliders or slip-ons. That's the bottom. They are from 2005, UK9. But these were £8. They're really cool. They've got swooshes on the sides and there. And then they've got the rubber and the neoprene bit on the top. But those were £8. Should get like 25 I think, on those. And then the final accessory was £5. And it is a Nike watch. Uh, it's a Nike Triax Swift. I think some of these Nike watches go for silly money at the moment. Uh, but this one, unfortunately... I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's got Arsenal. It's got like the Arsenal badge on the face. Um, but I'll put any listings that I can find there. This is, I did say it earlier, Nike Triax Swift analog. Uh, but that was £5. It just needs a battery and I'm not too short I'll get for it. But I just thought it was really cool. I haven't found any Nike watches in ages. I think I found a couple a few years ago. But yeah, they go for silly money, some of these at the moment. Moving into clothing, we've got these North Face trousers, the zip offs. These were. £3.99, those should be hopefully 18 to £25 on Depop. Just got the North Face logo there. Really good sellers, perfect for summer and festivals. Nice breathable pair of trousers. And I found this really nice low-key pair of Prada shorts. Show you the tag there. They are from the 29th of the 11th. I don't think that was last year, I think that was the year before. £9.50. Um, yeah, they're just really low-key, haven't got any red tabs on them. Those should hopefully be like 25 to 35 on Depop in the summertime. Moving into the tops, we've got this David Copperfield t-shirt. I think he's a magician. I did search him up when I found it. Um, bit of a rogue one to buy. And I bought it in June. Um, should be like 12 to 15 pound maybe. Next, we've got a UK classic YSL spell out polo. That was 12 pounds. So I paid up a little bit on it. Date was the second of a second. That was not last month. That was 2023. Uh, that should be 25 to maybe 35. Then we've got a standard Umbro spell out sweatshirt. That was £4.50. Should be like a 20 quid easily on Depop. Maybe a little bit more. We've got a really cool one. A nice local one. This was £3 and I bought it on the 18th of the 8th. I think that was 2022. It's an old Screen Stars tag and it is Berry Beer Festival 1996, which is like a local town to where my parents live. Single stitch, all of that. Probably just going to put that in the collection of local vintage that I have. I've got like a box of it now. This is a bit of a rogue one. Active Hearts on an old Screen Stars tag. Single stitch, that was £3. Probably like 15 quidder. Then we got a Band T, early 2000s Snow Patrol music t-shirt on the Gildan Ultra tag. Uh, I think it's from 2003. I did search it up. That was, I think, £4. Yeah, £4. I actually bought that recently. Uh, should be like 15 to 20 pound probably. Then we've got another vintage tee. I know this one's old because I wore this in Athens when I was there in October for Halloween. And that wasn't last year, that was 2022. It is on the Juanita or Onita, however you want to say it, tag, single stitch. And it's got that on the front. Uh, it just says like loads of things where you haven't got a costume. These next two items are really cool. Um, pretty plain, but I think they're like 80s sort of work jackets. Made in USA, Angelica old YKK zips just cool like unbranded low-key work jackets nice collars on them and they are dead stock and those were a fiver each should be like 15 to 25 depends who you are and who's selling it but I reckon like 18 pounds pretty fair on those we've got some more American vintage this was 10 pound it's on the majestic tag made in USA it is a sort of cotton varsity just the A's patch there Nothing on the back, unfortunately, but that should be like 25 to 35, I reckon. Moving to the last three bits. These are really cool bits. I found this one, I think, mid-summer last year. Uh, it was £10. And, yeah, it's basically a dead stock Harley Davidson t-shirt from 1992. It's like a really nice thin striped one. Just got that print on the front there and then that on the back. But that is like brand new pucker. No cracking or anything. Uh, and it's from like 92, single stitch, all of that. Uh, should hopefully be like 30, 35, if you like sit on it for a little bit longer, maybe 40. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice one. Perfect for summer. This next one I found in August last year, and it was £25. Super sick, Pepsi zip-up 
leather jacket. It's just got that Pepsi patch on the front. If you see there in the light and the tags there, really cool. Don't know where it's made, made in China. But it's probably like from the early 2000s, I reckon. Should be like a 60 to 80 pound jacket. Probably a bit more if you're a certain type of seller or if you can sit on stuff and get good money. Uh, but I'd say 60 to 80 is pretty fair. Nothing on the back, unfortunately. But that's a really cool buy. Finally, we got the beast of the video. 90s Mambo sweatshirt. Uh, I'll show you the tag. Really cool. Always look out for these tags. Old 90s Mambo tags. It's got that on the front and then that on the back. Uh, it is dated as well to 1993. Uh, then that was the grand total of £6.50. Uh, in terms of price, I can't really find any sweatshirts or jumpers or hoodies from Mambo in this sort of print. There's the odd one, which is like a small logo, uh, but I'd say it's like 120 to like 200 quidder. You could probably get silly money for it if you did sit on it on eBay, um, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it because it's just, I know I'm not going to find anything like it ever again. And it's just really cool. It was the last charity shop in this town that I've never been to. And yeah, it was just sort of sitting there on the end of the rack. Um, yeah, crazy find. I'll put anything that I can find on eBay. Uh, but it's mainly tees that you can find from Mambo. You really don't see too many sweatshirts or hoodies from them. Uh, but yeah, super crazy find. £6.50 into probably 120 to like 180 probably. Right, so that's it for this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop down at the bottom screen, Ryan's Finds, IHINDS, FINDS. As well as that, follow the wholesale Instagram down at the bottom screen, Messina Henry Wholesale. You can message us on the Instagram or you can also email us, which I'll put in the description if you're interested in buying secondhand clothing in bulk. And I think that is it. Hopefully there'll be some car boots starting soon. I think there was one last weekend, uh, but it's been raining all week, so I'm not too sure. Uh, but once the rain clears and it starts getting nice and hot, then we should be back in business with the videos. So yeah, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and peace.